Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my everyday look um, for the fall winter time. Um, my makeup look changes throughout the seasons because of the way that the weather is set up. The climate can actually change the way your skin and your makeup will react. So sometimes what you wear in the summer won't work for you during the winter time. So it's really just a matter of your climate and what your atmosphere is like. I don't wear makeup every day. Let's get that straight. I don't wear makeup every day. But when I do wear makeup, this is what I would wear. So first I'm going to prime my face and I have on this hoodie because my hair is like in cornrows right now because I have to put my wig on after I do my makeup. So that's why I have a hood on. What was I saying? Oh, let's get started. Duh. Primer spray. This is by Scandinavia. You guys know I love this primer spray. Um, I have a review on it and I mentioned briefly in my last video about why I like to use this all year round, not just in the summertime to prevent my oils. I really like this and actually I think I need some more. Loving this because not only does it work for the summertime, I just find that it works really well even when the skin when the skin even when it's cold outside or windy right now um i live in chicago so the wind here is ridiculous like actually outside right now the wind is blowing so hard that it's like the apocalypse is going on like it's scary okay um but god that feels so refreshing when i walk outside the wind like hits my face and if it's cool or cold wind it kind of hurts you know my skin isn't used to that so when I first moved here I noticed that my skin would get dry and the texture of my skin would be really rough and so my makeup would not go on good it would like separate and it would just over time it would start looking really nasty what I love about these sprays is that they don't mattify your skin but they help your makeup to go on a lot smoother it helps for your skin to breathe underneath your makeup because you're applying moisture to the skin and even if you have oily skin it won't make your skin oily and it will also help to keep the oils from coming through because it's keeping your skin hydrated propels the heat away from your face it won't sweat off it won't disappear but it will also look really good throughout the day because over time it's called time release technology over time it will like release these skin benefiting vitamins and nutrients that basically just make your skin like amazing so while you have on your makeup your skin is doing great and you don't have to worry about it getting too dry or crackly or cakey it'll keep your skin looking awesome yeah that's why i love that stuff and the the, the finishing spray that i'm going to use afterwards just sets all of that it's like hairspray for your face my makeup lasts a longer it looks better for longer and my skin is not dry and thirsty throughout the day which is key in the cold winter months because let me tell you this chicago weather does not play so oh i just put on some lip balm this is rosebud salve um during the winter time this is my favorite like i love this stuff so much oh my god it feels so good on my lips um okay so after i've sprayed my face with the scandinavia spray then i move on to actually my foundation sometimes i do um primer i'll show you guys what primer i use it really depends um what primer i'm going to use that day when my skin is breaking out i use the cover effects mattifying primer because my skin is acne prone right now i don't have any breakouts which is a miracle i'm going to just use illuminating primer to give my skin some illumination because it adds a glow underneath my foundation because i love to look glowy and hydrated and i like for my skin to look happy and healthy you know like cheerios to be quite honest with you guys picking my foundation is the hardest part of my day um my favorite ones to wear are actually drugstore foundations i really love the matte and poreless and i really love the um l'oreal infallible cover with concealer first i'm gonna use my dermablend quick fix concealer kind of has like an orangey tone to it so i don't have to color correct before i put it on and it will still correct my acne spots and i'm just gonna blend that concealer out some and now that my spots are covered as you can see it looks a whole lot better i'm gonna use my matte and poreless foundation by maybelline Put some of that on the back of my hand whoa that's a lot i'm gonna just take some of that with my beauty blender and put that all over my skins
Um, I've really been loving this Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, but I've also been loving my NARS um, Creamy Radiant Concealer. Both of these are really, really good concealers because they are very creamy. Um, this one in particular, this Maracuja Creaseless Concealer is bomb. Like, it is just amazing because it is so creamy. Like, it is the creamiest concealer I've ever used. And using a creamy concealer really helps um, to keep the under eyes hydrated. Goes on so smooth and beautifully and I'm getting it everywhere because I'm a mess per usual. And I really love that this concealer isn't like cold. Like it's always like kind of warm, which is weird to me. I think I may have used too much. And if you use too much concealer, what you wanna do is you wanna go back under it with your beauty blender, soak up some of that excess because if you have too much concealer underneath your eyes, what can happen is it'll like get caked up and then it will crease. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend that out. And usually during the winter, I wear a lot of hats and headbands and stuff. So sometimes I don't even do my forehead. I broke my beauty blender, so that's why I'm not really using the tip of it because I just, it's missing a tip. But I ordered a new one and it's coming in the mail, so. Yeah, I got concealer in my eye because I can't see. Temporarily blind here, guys. Went ahead and set my under eyes with my Sasha Buttercup powder um, because my camera died on me, and then I didn't want to like just leave concealer sitting up under my eyes. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Pro Finish powder. It's my favorite powder right now. I pit pan on it. I'm going to just take my Morphe brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is the Morphe E1. Actually, I'm not gonna take this because it's wet. I need all my brushes to stop playing with me. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brush by It Cosmetics. This is the Heavenly Luxe Airbrush Powder and Bronzer Brush. And I love it because it's super dense, so it picks up a lot of product and it'll pack it on good. So I'm just gonna tap that into my skin all over just so we get an even coverage of powder. I realized I haven't done my eyebrows. Cool, Vicky. Awesome. Let me go back and put my eyebrows on, guys. Brush through them and fill them in with this NYX pencil. Clean them up. I'm gonna use my Cover FX palette in In Deep. And I'm gonna go underneath my brow just a tiny bit to Clean them up. I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. Not a whole lot, but just enough. Just a basic shadow from my Lorac Mega Pro palette. Just do a light, I'm gonna take burlap actually. And I'm just gonna do a light coat of that all over my lid. This is actually kinda dark. I'm gonna have a smoky eye today. And I didn't even dry. I'm gonna blend a little bit of tawny in the crease area. I'm gonna take this melon color and try that on the lid. We'll see how that looks. Guys, most of the time when I do my makeup, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just like making stuff up as I go. I don't know, I just never really know what to do. I'm gonna take a little brush like this and I'm gonna take saddle which is a dark brown. And I'm gonna blend that directly into the crease, very, very lightly. Kind of make like a cut crease, kind of, sort of, not really. On my lash line, I'm gonna go in with Saddle. I'm gonna take a little bit of Tangerine. I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm gonna use NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Do a little flick. Oh boy, little flick turned into a lot of flick. Don't you even, you don't mean to make your liner big? Okay, let me stop myself before I mess it up completely. Okay, wait, no, my, my wing is not right. Liquid liner is just a struggle. Like, this is not what I wanted to do. I did not want to look like Cleopatra today. We're already doing Christmas commercials. I 
can't. Oh my God. This eyeliner went from zero to Amy Winehouse real quick. Real, real quick. Ugh, fudge. <sighs> this, this is not what I was going for. Does it look as bad as I think it does? I'm gonna stop because I'm just really upset right now. We're just gonna put lashes on. Maybe lashes will make it better. Maybe. I messed my makeup up, so we're starting over. I'm gonna just use my favorite palette because it never fails me. My favorite color, which is caramel. And I'm gonna put that on my lid. Whoa, that's really dark. And I'm gonna put my lashes on because I don't have time. Y'all, this wind outside is ridiculous. Like, it's like shaking my whole house. I cannot deal right now. This is not working out for Vicky. It is getting dark. Because um, I'm just not feeling it today. Okay, I'll put my lashes on and then I'll come back. Okay, just kidding guys. Um, I had to turn on the light because it is getting super dark out there. Now I'm going to complete the look. I'm going to bronze my face using this brush here. This is like a brush brush, a brush brush, blush brush, but I'm gonna use it for bronzing purposes around the perimeter of my face. I'm gonna be really mad when I watch this back because half the video is in daylight and half the video is in ring light. And today I'm going to use this color Fox by ColourPop. And what? I'm gonna use this brush by Real Techniques. This is a buffing brush, I think. Just a little bit of blush. And then. I'm going to highlight, which is my favorite part. You guys know I love highlighting. Highlighting makes my day better. I'm gonna try Benefit Waltz Up. Oh, oh, that that's that is on my finger now. Okay, this is a creamy highlighter, so I'm gonna just tap that onto. my cheekbones here. I'm not I'm not I'm not wiping, I'm just tapping because I want it to um, stick, but I don't want to wipe off my makeup. So I'm assuming you use this side to blend it out. Oh, you do use this side to blend it out. Okay. And then I'm going to go over top of that because I can't just use one highlighter, okay? Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Use a little bit of that, you know, just a little. Whoa, moonlit. Uh, I think I just put too much on, but you know what? You can never have too much eyeliner. <laughs> oh my God, guys, this makeup tutorial is a fail, like a fail beyond all reason. These highlighters play no games. Um, I'm just gonna tap that out with my powder brush here. There we go, blend it out a little bit because clearly we're doing a lot. Now we are highlighted. And we are ready to party. Now I'm going to actually, no it's not. Where is my setting brush? Cause we are experiencing some patchiness here. You guys, this is the worst makeup tutorial I've ever made in my life. And I'm gonna put it up just so you guys can see how I have off days and why I don't film on off days. Because I do stuff like this. Just gonna blend that out there. There we go. Now I'm gonna do my lips because I'm done. I'm done fooling my face right now. ColourPop has some new lippies out. Four new uh, holiday colors. And I'm liking, platform is like a nude color. Actually, I may do the nude color. Oh, it is nude. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do a liner really fast before we lose control. I'm gonna use the BFF3 liner because it is bay. Oh, I sharpened that way too much. Gently, Vicky, gently. 
I'm actually gonna put some lip gloss on top of this. This is NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. And then, oh, wait, no, I gotta spray. I gotta do my finishing spray. So I'm gonna take my finishing spray by Scandinavia. And let that set my makeup. It just helps to lock in everything, make sure nothing moves. Yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys like it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Of course, you can take away from this whatever you would like and add on whatever you would like. You guys know in my last video, I mentioned that I will be doing a Scandinavia giveaway on these sprays. I already have done a giveaway before on these sprays. Wait, they sent some more for they sent me some more for you guys. They sent me some more to give to you guys. So these are guys, these. They sent me some more sprays and I already have some and I haven't ran out yet. So I decided to do a giveaway on these. Link will be in the description box to where you can enter if you would like to win. And the giveaway will be going on until November 30th. I will be doing a lot more giveaways though for my 200K. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and subscribing if you have subscribed. Um, and everybody who's been here, man, y'all are y'all are awesome. And I just want to thank you guys. So I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways. Um, and also going to do some tag videos and some fun stuff for my 200K. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.